hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you how to configure a motion detector and probably if the motion is detected an action should be taken uh, for example uh, a cctv should be alerted and also the siren so let's begin i need a uh, we say the home router a home gateway just click on that and you click on the wireless devices and you scroll you choose a home gateway and you place it there remember the home gateway will be acting as the registration server for the IoT devices so I will need um, a smoke detector you just click on the hand devices then home and you search for motion detector okay there is this motion detector and we we'll look for siren okay so when um, a motion is detected in under probably let's say um, restricted area then the siren should alert the crowd that somebody is going to an a restricted area okay and also I need a camera to capture who is going there Okay, now I'll just use this triple sensor camera. It looks like um, I am I have problem clicking it, but I'll just choose. Uh, there's another one. There's another one that is called. Um, can just use webcam. No problem when you use webcam. Okay, and remember. You know, IoT. We need to a control. We need a controller. For example, a smart, a smart, a smartphone or a tablet. So what I'll do is just choose um, an end device. For example, a tablet, and put it there. So this will be our controller. Okay. All right. So this is our siren. This is our motion detector, and this is our CCTV. So I'll just do it. Um, uh, siren. Motion detector. And CCTV. Let's assume this is our CCTV. Okay. All right. And this is the controller tablet. Controller tablet. So we want to control these IoT devices from this tablet here. Remember, this home gateway provides a registration server and uh, a wireless network to the IoT devices. So everything here, these devices registers to this home gateway. And that interface should be obtained from this piece, the tablet here, okay? All right. So the first thing that you do, the first thing that you do, make sure you connect the tablet to the home gateway. Just click on the home gateway, come to config, and uh, check wireless, and see the password, see the on the SSD, the Wi-Fi name, which is just home gateway. It doesn't have pass password, but you can just set it if you like. But in this case, we want to go very fast. We just skip that part. So I'll come to tablet, come to config still, uh, come to LS0 and uh, I'll paste the home gateway there. Okay, all right. So it will connect, then we proceed to the next step. All right, now it is connected. The second step is to register these IoT devices to the home gateway. How do you do that? Just click on one IoT device come to config okay then scroll down here you will see IoT server so IoT server should be our home gateway just close it that way then you come to this one also you come to config IoT server should be home gateway okay, close it finally you come to this one you come to config and IoT server should be Home gateway. Good. 
So almost everything is done here. And if you can just uh, make a trial, you just control HALT, you just press on HALT, sorry, you, you press on HALT and you move cars around the motion detector, you will see it's turning red. Hold key on the keyboard and cursor around the motion detector. But this one will not work. This one will not work. But whenever I try to press on hold and uh, a cursor over um, a motion detector, you see a red line. Okay. Meaning now motion detector has detected something, but no action has been taken by the two devices. I want whenever I, pr I try to whenever this de device detects uh, something is moving across a restricted area then the siren will alert the crowd CCTV will capture the event ok uh, again demo I press on hold cursor over the motion detector you see it's red ok now let's control them using this smartphone click on the smartphone you come to desktop the first thing that you have to do, make sure that the, it has been a located IP address. When I move over this one, you will see it has been a located IP address of 25.103. And the default gateway is um, 25.1. And also this one has been a located IP address, as you can see. All of them has been a located IP addresses by this OM gateway. Okay? So we just click on the tablet, then come to desktop, and here down you see IoT monitor. Click on IoT monitor. Click on it. Just give it time. IoT devices always uh, take time to load. And by default, the home gateway, its IoT server address is this one. And that's why you can see, um, if you have this device, you can see the default gateway is uh, 162, 1 1.5.1. That's the default gateway, okay, for every device. So, by default, IoT server addresses address is always this one, 25.1, and uh, username of that one, password of that one, by default, okay. And just just click on login, and you can see all the devices are under uh, the IoT server devices here. Now you can control from this point. You can see the siren. Uh, you can see motion detector you can see CCTV and uh, if I can just control them here for a demo um, just a minute okay if I can just try to control them from this point let's say I want to turn siren on okay from this tablet remember this is our tablet let's turn siren on and just click on that point you see the siren is now red we can control them from this uh, from this uh, tablet okay but now there's a situation before that also for camera webcam we can just control them from this point cctv open cctv you can see now here it's red and it captures everyone who is walking in and out of the restricted area okay so i turn it off uh, i turn the off well i don't want a situation that uh, i control these devices manually I need, this, I need to set some conditions so that whenever emotion is detected, this one is powered on automatically, this one is powered on automatically, okay? So how do you do this one? Very simple. Let me just call this one here. In the same tablet, in the same tablet, you see we have a kind of a nav bar here, home, condition, editor, logout. Just click on the conditions and you do add. So let's say motion detect is equal to yes. Uh, let's say just motion detect, just that way, okay? Motion detect. And which device are we gonna use? The name of the rule is called motion detect. And which device is gonna initiate this this this, this action is motion detector you just choose motion detector here okay motion detector and the condition to be when it is on and it's true suppose motion detector is is on i mean if it is on then what should be done 
let's say if on is true on the motion detector then what should be done let's say siren then click there on to be true that's okay then you add action also you say cctv on to be true okay and you click okay now let's go back guys and try to over over motion detect again just press on hold and bring cursor over this you see i didn't even press on the siren and the camera i just pressed i, I mean i just pressed um, i just hovered my mouse over the motion detector and you see the siren is here and the cctv here so let's just wait and see something now you can see the motion detector has gone off but the siren and the cctv are still home meaning the condition is not complete here we must give a condition a condition to turn them on and a condition to turn them off so let's go back to our tablet this is the condition to turn them on okay now let's give give a condition to turn the devices off in case the motion detector is uh, is uh, has not detected anything so let's say no motion no movement so from no movement you just say motion detector condition on to be false okay then you come to say siren on to be false then you add action you say cctv on to be false so you click ok all right so let's let's move again let's let's a thief move let's say there's a thief I've, I've pressed on the hold key so a thief is, is coming a thief is coming and the motion detector has detected it you see the siren is uh, ringing and the camera is capturing everything that's going on and whenever this motion detector is off they automatically goes off so let's just let's just go back here to the tablet and come home come home all right and let's expand this and i want to expand this also i want to expand all of them and move the cursor and just press on the hold key where this well everything is I mean just press on all alt key when uh, this tablet uh, window is still here okay and move move uh, the cursor to the motion detector you see now everything is opening you see there motion detector is on a uh, siren is on um, a uh, TV is on but when motion detector will go off everything will go off you see again a trial okay so that guys uh, that's how to um, control these devices and uh, set conditions the most important thing here is conditions you, do, you don't want to do them manually you just need to do some conditions so that uh, one uh, when one action happens another one is triggered automatically so that's the best way how to do it and i believe and i believe you learned a lot from this video in the next video will probably look on how to control fire and fire detector and uh, the actions that should be taken to, uh, to to control the fire so thank you so much please subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video thank you